Hi guys, welcome back to Forbixo Academy channel. This is the second episode of post production tutorial. And today I'm going to review a little bit about my workflow using Photoshop and Camera Raw to final edit my renderings. So as you can see, I use EXRIO plugin to uh, save and load my renders and all of their render elements into one file. So it will be easier to access, manage, and uh, do post with this. So we have the RGB, and we have the uh, the first element is the direct lighting, which have to boost the uh, yeah the direct lighting, and you can see. And we can play with the opacity. The same thing with the uh, indirect lighting. Just use the uh, screen mode. Most of the time you can see that I use screen mode or soft line and then play with the opacity. We also have the uh, reflect, refract and uh, translucency so we can affect the uh, materials and make it better and you can see here uh, sometimes we will play with the uh, masking for example the uh, refract we uh, have to make all the glasses uh, kind of brighter but uh, sometimes for example in this case I only want it to be brighter for the uh specific objects or specific areas so i use mask to limit the uh, effect chances and c is not usable here or it is very small area the environment lighting we have to make the scene look brighter a little bit and then we have the other light select element that would have to brighten some areas but in this case for this cabinet areas I don't want it to be brighter because it's is in the background so I want it to be darker so most of the time you just need to play with either screen mode or soft light mode screen mode will tend to make the image brighter while the soft light mode tend to make the image darker and uh, more contrast yeah you can see we have the rest lighting for the lighting coming uh, through the windows it helps it really helps to change the look of the uh, image uh, so i use a opacity of 50 percent and i duplicate the layer here you can see a trick I use here with Gaussian Blur to mimic the uh, glow effects around the windows with the radius of 45% sorry 45 pixel but as you can see I don't want the effects to be uh, evenly distributed around the windows I want it to have some kind of direction so I use mask again to limit the area. Yeah, I just take advantage of the uh, render ID and then use the uh, brush with black color to paint out the effects on the left of the windows 
Yeah, we can compare. Now we have uh, some uh, lights, some light source outside the windows, and uh, one of the two is very strong. This is the main light of this scene. So I'm going to play with the opacity. I don't want it to be uh, like an uh, um, explosion or something. So 50% is good enough. Okay, now we can compare the uh, raw and the post. Yeah, I think this looks better, uh, brighter, the details are better. Okay. Sometimes you have to zoom out the image and uh, turn the layers on and off and compare. So you will have an overall look of the image and you can decide better whether to keep or uh, remove the effects. So this can be considered as the first part of the process. In the second part, I will show you um, how I add some recent renders because with this image I, um, I had some change in terms of design and I, uh, I add something like the chandelier or the throw I changed the coffee table sorry so I put some reason renders and uh, save it separately and I'm um, opening it so basically I would have to repeat the whole process of uh, that I did with the original rendering with all the render elements uh, with all the blending modes and opacity so the recent renders will be able to match with the original render. And then we will use a mask to um, add the reason in. Okay, and you can see basically repeat the uh, steps I will skip this part a little bit so uh, we will see the result faster and here's the results okay. and basically I uh, we have two groups here the upper groups is the uh, uh, vision render and the lower group is the original render and we will use a mask to um, only add the reason areas in. Here you can see that it is a little bit complicated because I want to keep the uh, old coffee table but add the new throw, add the new chandelier so uh, I I had to do uh, a bit more work on the masking and you can see the new throw very soft uh, furry the new chandelier but I want to keep the original coffee table So basically, in this case, um, it's about masking, 
and uh, yeah, a little bit more work on this area because this throw is uh, is hiding behind the new coffee table, but I don't want to keep the new coffee table. I want the old coffee table. So I have to do some uh, clone stems here. So basically nothing fancy here, just uh, a bit more work to make things smoother. The tools that I use uh, for this specific task is the uh, healing blast tools. And masking. Here we go. Close to finish this area. Just need to use the uh, dodge and burn brush to, uh, you know, brighten the rocks, sorry, the fur, and darken the sofa, so the throw will be more noticeable. And I also have to uh, work a little bit on the chair as well, masking of the chair. Okay, a little comparison here. At this point, I um, I noticed that the recent render is kind of too bright compared to the original render, so I don't have to go back to uh, the layer setup of the original render. Sorry, the uh, recent renders, and maybe turn off some. A screen layer like the uh, light select or reduce the opacity. So the reason area is not so bright. Okay. Yeah, I think it's look better now. I 
I also want to go back to the original layers. And consider on the opacity. Because I still want the overall look of this image is something uh, dark with the focus on the windows and the lighting coming from that. Okay. You can see that I zoom the image several times and compare and consider okay so the third steps is with camera I often use the white shadow highlights black to control the look and the contrast of the image and also the haze In this case, I increase white shadow uh, to make the image look creeper, brighter, and reduce the black to keep contrast. I also play with the uh, white balance. So uh, the temperature slightly to the left. Because the original lander looks a bit uh, too warm. But as you can see, I use a very subtle numbers here. Okay, so basically, it doesn't change too much, just some subtle change. But anyway, uh, I think that if you uh, if you want to have delicate uh, look, you you don't want to play too much with the post. Just a little bit. There we go. I'll go back and uh, kind of darken the uh, leather a little bit. And then merge all the layers and do the camera filter again. Yeah. And now I think that we need some lens correction the uh, chromatic aberration to add some final touch some realistic uh, uh, camera look to the windows and now we can uh, turn on and off all the layers from the beginning to see the process of developing that image Okay, so that is, I hope you uh, learned something from this making up, sorry, the uh, post production tutorial, and see you in the next video.